On today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living, working, eating and playing in the Knoxville, Tennessee area, then please subscribe below and click that bell so that you can be one of the first to be notified of the current market conditions here in Knoxville, Tennessee. My name is Todd Jewell and me and my team receive calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking to make that move and we'd love to hear from you. We don't care if you're looking to move immediately, if you're not gonna be moving, for a year, we wanna go ahead and get that process started so that when you do make that move, it is as easy and stress-free as possible. Let's get to it. Let's start with some positive with the pros. First up on our list is gonna be our cost of living. Now we've done some other videos related to cost of living that we can put the links to in the bottom if you'd like to look at those as well. But Knoxville's cost of living is typically considerably less than other metro areas. That means is this, it's gonna cost you a little bit less to do everything. For example, a little bit less to go to the grocery store, a little bit less when you go out and eat uh, in the evening, a little bit less to go see a movie, maybe a little bit less to put gas in your car. There's a couple areas though where Knoxville really stands out. And those are in the areas of, we are in the state of Tennessee, so there is no state income tax. That is a significant savings compared to many other states across the country. And it's a significant savings compared to other states here in the Southeast, us in Florida both, without a state income tax. And I think that makes them both a very popular state for people who are looking to move to the South. Another area that we're very fortunate to have a very low cost of living in is our real estate taxes. Our real estate taxes here in Knoxville are considerably less than most parts of the country. We don't have a school tax. We don't have personal property taxes. What we do have is some of the lowest real estate taxes for a metro area around. A half a million dollar home is gonna cost you a little over a couple grand a year in total real estate taxes. When you go um, register your vehicle, there is no personal property tax. Another great area and our cost of living is our housing. Now, Knoxville housing costs have increased over the last three to five years like they have in most parts of the country. But the great part of Knoxville is that you still get the metro area and our housing costs, even with the price increases, are significantly less than many other metro areas around the country. So you do have a very affordable cost of living. The number two pro on our list, the natural beauty. I am at Lakeshore Park today because I figured if I'm gonna film a video and talk about some of the pros, I would rather do that outside than inside. It's an 82 degree day, beautiful here in early May. Our natural beauty, in my opinion, is unsurpassed and I'll tell you why because you have such variety. Not only do you have, as you can see behind me, beautiful greenery and trees, not only are we 45 minutes out of the Smoky Mountains to an hour from many parts of Knoxville, you can see those beautiful mountains in the distance. We also are fortunate to be located on many lakes. So you have the beauty of the water, you have the beauty of the mountains, you have that combined with the beauty of the valleys and what you end up with, a beautiful environment. Number three on our list is Knoxville's climate. Knoxville is very unique in that it has four, what we consider to be mild, but very distinct seasons. So you're gonna have winter and sometimes in January, it feels like to us, it can get very cold. So you may have days it doesn't get out of the low 30s. We may even have days that are highs in the upper 20s. But those days are rare and they don't last very long. Most of our winters are in the 40s and 50s with nights in the 30s and 40s. So it's a very mild winter compared to many other parts of the country. But it is a winter where you know that you're in winter. So you do get a change of seasons. Our fall is absolutely beautiful. People travel from all over the country to come to East Tennessee to see our falls. And then summer. Summer can be hot at times. When you get to mid to late July and into August, um, we feel like it can be hot. We do have humidity. We're here in the South. That's part of being in the South. It's a small price to pay, in my opinion, for the rest of the seasons, but we do have heat in those summer months. The great thing about that hot summer months, and you may like that, but if you don't, they don't last a long time. Number four on our list is Knoxville's cultural and recreational activities. Honestly, don't believe the word boredom 
should be even part of the vocabulary here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Here's why. With the University of Tennessee being here, you have a variety of cultural activities that you can be involved in. Knoxville has amazing art scene. It has a fantastic theater scene. We take our granddaughter to the children's theater here. We've done that twice in the last year. Fantastic, using children actors. So the culturally art part of Knoxville is very vibrant. But if you're not into that scene and you like to do other outdoor activities, whether it's come out and walk on the park, whether it's take a run, even if you aren't into the art scene or the theater scene, if that's not your thing, but you love to go out and run or you like to go out and, and hike or bike or any of those type of activities, there are numerous places, too many to mention that you can do that in, all with beautiful scenery. The other things are such as water sports. I mean, we are surrounded by lakes and water. So if you love the water as we do, you can spend an enormous amount of time on the water, whether you're just cruising like we are or going to dinner, or whether you are out doing water sports and wakeboarding, that is all available to everyone here. It's easily accessible. There's tons of public access uh, to our recreational activities. You're very close as well to Nashville, a couple hours. Uh, you're two and a half hours to Atlanta. We go to an Atlanta Braves game a couple of times a year. We like to go to a Titans game. You know, you have all the UT activities and sports that are going on here. The recreational cultural activities in Knoxville, many festivals throughout the entire year, not just summer, spring, but even through the winter, make Knoxville just a fantastic place to call home. Number five on our list of pros is the community. You've always heard of Southern hospitality. Well, let me tell you, in Knoxville, Tennessee, you will experience it firsthand. Me and my wife have always lived about 45 minutes south of Knoxville. We decided over four, a little over four years ago to make that move to Knoxville because we wanted to be here. We have been embraced by the community. The people here are very friendly and Southern hospitality is fully exposed. So if you're looking for a community that has something for everyone to get involved in and you wanna be in a community where people are willing to involve you in it, then Knoxville very well may be a fantastic place for you. One of the differences, I, I talk about this with folks all the time who are moving years, we choose to live here. You know, um, I, I could still live where we still do, work where we do, all those kinds of things, but we love Knoxville, we love the community, and I believe that's one of the strongest parts about being here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, so one of the things that I've always said on these channels, we won't talk about the good and the bad. And so there are some cons that we consider to be cons of living here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. Number one is Knoxville has traffic. As every growing city is experiencing those growth pains, Knoxville is no different. Our location sitting at the intersection of basically three interstates makes Knoxville an area that is highly traveled with the Smoky Mountains sitting just to you know 45 minutes outside of town a lot of people travel through here on our interstate system so we do have what we consider to be quite a bit of traffic uh know where you live know what you like to do when you move here and those kinds of things because i'm here at lakeshore park i don't need to get on the interstate we chose where we live because we know it's an easy drive uh, even during busy times to get to all the areas that we enjoy so some of that as a con can be alleviated by making sure that when you are looking to move here, if this is an option for you, that you are guided in such a way that you buy a home in an area that does make it easy to access the areas you like to go to on a daily basis or weekly basis, so that you don't, you can limit the exposure that you have to our traffic. Uh, number two on our list is our crime rate. If you look up the crime rate in Knoxville, Tennessee online, what you're gonna find is this, you're gonna find a crime rate it shows to be higher than many of the other areas, especially our size uh, and other cities. Now, here's what I'll tell you. We have lived here, uh, like I said, full time for four and a half years or so. Uh, we haven't experienced crime. I don't know anyone that really has experienced much crime. There's a website we'll, we'll link in the description, but that will give you some of that data where it shows where the crimes occur. And what you're gonna find is, is that the majority of our crime in Knoxville occurs in a few locations. Probably not any different than many cities around the country and metro areas, but that is the case. So if that's a concern for you, that's another area where I need to earn my money and help you find the right location so that that's not something you have to worry about at all. 
I feel very comfortable. My daughter's at the University of Tennessee. She's downtown, no worries at all. Me and my wife go downtown a lot, walk around, enjoy that area. It's sometimes the statistics don't tell all the story, but you make sure that you're comfortable and you do your own research and reach out to me with any questions. And I'll be glad to try to answer those for you. The third car on our list is our lack of homes that are for sale here in Knoxville. Because Knoxville is so popular, and because if you've seen it all across the country, a shortage of homes for sale, we are still in Knoxville in a serious shortage of homes for sale for people to be able to purchase to move here. So that's my job. So that is a, is a little bit of a problem. What it does is really um, put you in a position where you have to be pre-approved, in a position where you need to be well-educated by the time you get here so that when we locate homes and look at homes it's easier for you to make a decision it's hard and it can be very frustrating if while you're here looking at homes you're trying to learn the area you know and you're looking at all the areas you haven't ruled things out based on you know the way that you live your life so um, number three on our list uh, is a common problem across the country it is a significant problem here in knoxville and probably a little worse in some of the other metro areas simply because it is so popular okay so there you have it five of the pros of living here in Knoxville and three cons for living here in Knoxville, Tennessee. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up below. And if you have a, an area, a topic, or anything you want me to discuss in an upcoming video, please put that in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Click the like button so you can be notified of the market conditions here and changes. And until next time, I hope to see you guys around town soon.